Hey, what's going on guys? Cotton here, and today I'm playing with the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle, also known as the 1918. This is the entry level LMG to the American side of the game, and many people have asked me to do a video on this. Well, honestly, I didn't even own it yet, but I went and unlocked it, and I actually had a lot of fun with it. And I'm going to give you some tips here that I found with it. Now first, everybody's going to ask me modding. Really, I would only go with the sight and the, uh, the high damage ammunition. And that's all I'm running on my bar, and I love it. Because this gun, it doesn't really fare well at full auto going long range or even medium range. I mean, short range, it's fine. You know, you can go full auto with it. You can even hip fire it. But it really suffers from its own recoil, I guess I would call it. I mean, only the, the first one or two shots are going to land where you want them to on full auto. So... I've actually adapted to using the gun as if it was a semi-automatic rifle. You may see me fire it quickly here and there, but I'm actually not full autoing it. I am single clicking my mouse, just a little bit quicker here and there, it just depends on the situation. But I found that that works very, very well with this gun. That way you don't need any crazy badges, and you're saving money on mods. Because I made the mistake, I tried modding it, I put rate of fire on it, I put you know less rate of fire on it. And going full auto with it is just not that good. It fares really well if you treat it like a semi-automatic rifle. Some other things to keep in mind is the clip size is rather limited on this weapon. It's only a 20 round clip, which again, it isn't bad if you're, you know, trying to take your time with it. If you're trying to, you know, rapid fire it a lot, you're going to be reloading quite often. So just be careful. Make sure you can get to cover before you reload. And of course, it's just like any other weapon. It suffers from sway at a standing position. Crouching will take away some of it. Prone, it's the most stable. But I still don't really recommend rapid firing this weapon. I Take your time with it, single click your mouse, and you'll see the results. The 1918 can also be ranged using your space bar or whatever your manual keys are bind to. I believe that they're page up and down by default. But you can range it to get better sighting on people or at least try to get your bullets to land more accurately. When trying to hip fire the gun, especially rapidly, it does have a pretty bad spread rate. It's not as tight as the SMGs, obviously, but that's the nature of the LMG. And because it's an LMG, you're gonna lose a lot more inventory space than if you were using an SMG. I believe it's seven slots, so you can bring it, maybe some grenades and a knife or something, really up to you. Now, I know that a lot of people, they might even disagree with what I'm saying here. I'm just saying this is my own personal recommendation of how to use the 1918. Because, take it from me, I put every mod I could on this thing, I just didn't like it. I liked it when I slowed it down and I'm single tapping like a semi-automatic rifle. It seems to work very well. But that's about enough of the discussion and all the advice I can give you on it. And now I wanted to show you a pretty crazy kill streak I got into while using this the other day on the airfield. I took about three bases and got 33 kills before dying, and it's all with the BAR. I mean, I'm just hitting supply crates, next stop, hitting supply crates. Pretty wild. But hey, hope you guys enjoy. Hope maybe I helped you out here if you're planning on using the 1918. Stay tuned, I plan on doing the 1919 here as soon as I unlock it. I'm almost there, you know, give me some time. But hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy.
Shut up and sit down.